back with another video this year i'll be going over how to overcome lust and temptation or like how to overcome the spirit of lust okay so first off um i want to start with the scripture but uh it says um if any if any person um if any man um looks at a woman with an adultery with a lustful look then that person has committed adultery with that person in their heart and when you commit adultery um that's violating the ten commandments because one of the commandments of the ten commandments is thou shalt not commit adultery so when you look at a woman with a lustful look you commit adultery which is sin and um and and the more you're sinning and when you're sinning and you're without repentance then that will lead you to hell um committing adultery adult being an adulterer is going to lead you to hell oh but but look you can repent but if you don't repent and you don't change your ways then you'll go to hell so um that's this video i'll be going over how to overcome lust spirit of lust number one guard your eyes so when you're guarding your eyes don't look at like don't put your eyes on a woman that's that that that, that might lead you to relapse you can go on you know how like i feel like when you go on instagram there's just like more chances of you relapsing because um then you're not because there's because because when you go guess when you scroll on instagram then there's first i don't know where there's a, like a half naked girl so you got you have to be careful and guard your eyes um stop don't don't be quick to look just just guard your eyes guard your eyes just well, number one guard your eyes number two um remove things that are making you relapse so what unfollow that so unfollow that instagram uh, instagram unfollow only fans unfollow instagram people that are just showing off their body for showing off their body like half naked or maybe naked if tiktok instagram and then when the, if, the, if god delivers you from the spirit of lust like you're just striving to striving for the kingdom trying to break this um trying to break this trying to break the just trying to break the demonic struggle trying to break the trying to break it trying to break the spirit of lust trying to be free when god removes those chains you can go on instagram you can go on tiktok back but don't but like like certain maybe certain parts of the app leads you to relapse like pushing lust because they pull you gotta be careful um, so don't be so quick to like look at like, the pictures and stuff like that and stuff like that number three is to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and the, and the Father so when you have a personal relationship you after God delivers you from it now you can like, give thanks you can give thanks but you wouldn't want let's say you have a child that's getting good grades you give them a gift but that but the child is looking at you like what is this what is this like they be ungrateful they be ungrateful and you're not gonna want to give that child another you don't want you don't want to give that child another gift because of how ungrateful he acted so that's the same with god if god delivers you from the spirit of lust give him thanks give him thanks because there's most modern men can't even last a week can't even last a month on consumer attention so let, let's say you're actually on consumer attention on um, you lasting six to twelve six months twelve months year two years and when you fall short you won't lose the benefits and when you fall short the um, a just man falls seven times and rise up again, but the wicked shall fall into his chief. So you, you will rise up again. You will rise up again. Repent and just you will rise up again. And have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Father. And uh, stop putting yourself in um, situations that's going to lead you to lust, lead you to fornicate, lead you to. Let's say um, you go to the club. Well, if you go to the club, that, that's a, there's a great chance that you might relapse because, it's, like, bro. So um, don't put yourself in situations where you're gonna lust and um, and cut off and cut and, and cut off things that are gonna make you lust. So like cut off the apps, cut off things that are gonna make you lust. And if you don't over and if you look, bro, like I think in the Bible it says you have to cut off your hand or pluck out your eyes if you're if you if you keep if you're watching the websites and you don't want to do that. So you don't want to have to cut your hand. That's if if your hand is making you sin or something like that, like lust or something, then cut it off. But you don't want to cut off your hand. That's why you guys gotta be, be, be for real on this. Like you want to get free from this, uh, from this demon that that is that's using you. Because the demon, a demon was using me back then. Because it's not you that wants to relapse. It's a demon using you. It's a demon. So I asked just God just to get that. I asked God to get that demon out of me. And then after I said that a couple days later, a couple weeks later, he, he did it. He got that demon out of me. I don't have the demon of lust. And um, you guys can also have not the demon of lust. You just gotta ask God, just break off the chain. Get that demon get the demon of lust out of me, please. And then he'll do it for you. If you're if you're um, if you're striving, if you're like 
if you're striving to walk the narrow path, because many are called your chosen, if you're striving to walk the narrow path, and you're striving to do the work, you're striving to do the things that 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 help, like guarding your eyes, um, having a relationship, having cutting off things that are making you that that leads you to relapse, stop going to the club, like things like that, like to help you overcome lust and temptation, to overcome uh, the lust, and um and re and and when and stop being idle. Another time, another way. Stop being idle. But when you're idle, that's the devil's playground. But what what do you want? Stop being idle. Go like go do exercise. Go 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 to go to the park. Go to um just transmute that energy. Transmute that sexual energy to work out. To um go to the park. To and go to the grocery store if you need groceries. Read the Bible. Um pray. I'll also fast. Fasting fasting can help. Fasting can help. Fasting can help. Um, and all I think the Bible says that uh, these, these spirits cannot get out unless it's prayer and fasting. It's, so fasting is a nice option too. Stop, stop, fasting is not a salvation requirement, but it's, it, it can help. It can help. Um, but yeah, those are those are um, ways that you can overcome lust. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, guard your eyes. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.